master. I know that, but I don't want him drawing out of it. Like, what, what if he starts drawing into multiple vapor snags off of that guy? Then I'm just, I feel stupid then. Trust me, keeping Merfolk's guys off the board is what you want to do. Like, it's just like infect. Don't let him have a guy. It's the same in Splinter Twin. Don't let him have a guy. It doesn't matter what the guy is. Snapcaster, Vendillion Click. Kill them all. Merfolk's the same way. Kill them all. Oh, God. See, these things can't attack me yet, though. He's a little late to the party here. I'm at 17 and nothing can attack. Why did I let that resolve? I don't know. Oh, this can attack. Shite. And then next turn... Oh, I know why I didn't counter it. Because he used the Aether Vial. Duh. You know, there's also a possibility I just draw another Lightning Bolt. See, he would have smashed for 6 that turn, though, and then been threatening to kill me this turn. But, yeah, I guess I could have just killed him with the Lightning Bolt if it resolved. <clears throat> I still think I win. Unless he has Vapor Snag again. That's what I was trying to prevent. Prevent him from drawing Vapor Snag off of the guy that draws cards. <clears throat> like the Delvers are enough, you know. Um, so we have a Snapcaster to this. Jesus, four. He can ten me here. If he played another Lord, he would put me at one. Yikes. Here it comes. Aether Vial. Nothing I can do about it. Is it another Lord? Yeah, essentially. Jesus Christ. Eight plus five, 13. So I go to one? <laughs> Good thing I didn't, like, remember when I went and got that island? <laughs> if I had got a uh, shock land, I would be dead here, right? <clears throat> if he has a vapor snag, like, 8 plus 5 is only 13, right? Okay. Does he have a vapor snag? I think he just loses now. I can mana leak his vapor snag if that's what he's on. If he had vapor snag, he'd be trying to play it right now. The thing that beats us cold here is two vapor snags. Sorry, we lose to that. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, we lose to double vapor snag. To combat. Maybe just hoping I skip through combat. My hand is off the keyboard. My hands my hands are off. Yeah, see, I'm not going to skip through attacks like you did. He did have vapor snag. Alright. Mana leak for the win, baby. Don't have Spell Pierce 2 as your only card. That would be unbelievable. Oh my god, he's tapping a mana. Is he bluffing or does he actually have this nonsense? He didn't have it. Whew. He didn't have it. Damn. He wanted to make <laughs> he wanted to make my heart flutter a little bit there by tapping that. Tapping that island, I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. That was closer than it probably should have been, but I feel like we played it right. Keep his guys off the board. That's what you do. You can't, like, save your removal for, for lords, because when you do that, it never works out, because by the time the lord hits, they usually have already gathered, uh, you know, 
remands, mana leaks, vapor snags, spell pierces, stuff like that. So you got to act while you can. So that's why I lightning bolted his cold eyed Selkie. Because he tapped out on three with an aether vial out on two. So I figured that was my chance to get rid of the Selkie. If I hadn't have got rid of the Selkie, I would have been dead. So actually, I played that match or that game perfectly. Um, fetching for the island <clears throat> also enabled me to win at one. So played that one perfectly, guys. If Delvers didn't flip, though, we would have died. So he did a Vapor Snag, our, our first Delver that flipped, and then played it back down. We flipped our Delver every time immediately. That definitely helped us, too. Going on a coffee run. Hey, what's up, Driox? How you doing today? Welcome back, man. I hope you've been doing all right.